your legs media you know what to do hit the like button subscribe to the channel thanks we got lots of stuff coming up yeah what's going on what's up as usual this is i and it's luby say with your legs media and um you see the swag below check it out check out the swag below you know i got the hoodie on say with your legs media uh check it out scan me and we got black friday coming up we're gonna do something for black friday and also it's christmas we gotta get ready for christmas we're gonna bring you them christmas specials don't worry about that don't worry about that we got you we got you we got you so anyway remember on the way in hit the like button subscribe to the channel and like you said the thumbnail is basically an update to what happened to mark cavendish and his wife uh, a few months ago so this is not really like old news and it's it's it is <coughs> it is uh sorry excuse me huh there we go okay it is some news that happened uh, a little while ago and we're gonna just jump right into what happened uh knife man rob mark cavendish and his wife uh peta or is it peter or peta todd at home in a terrifying raid so what did happen so basically this is the conclusion of what has happened and it looks like uh something you know like i guess the the guy who did what he did uh you know had to be tried and stuff so this is the result it said joe 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 jobson has been found guilty of stealing two high value watches in a terrifying knife point raid at the olympic cyclist mark cavendish and his wife peter Todd access home in november 2021 so i guess this has been the case because they already said joe jobson has been found guilty of robbing olympic medal winning cyclist mark cavendish and his wife uh pet peter todd on uh J jobson 27 is a judge to have stolen their high value watches in a, a knife point raid at their essex home in november 2021 he denied the robbery but was on monday was found guilty at the chelmsford crown court prosecutor edward uh red 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 Vosey, red Vosey told the crown court last week that an armed gang included jobson took two high value uh, Richard Mile watches, which were worth a total of seven hundred thousand. Wow, it's almost a million. And the raid took place around two thirty a.m. Uh, two years ago, while Kevin Shen, his wife and children were at home. So I, I knew it happened a while ago. Jobson faced two robbery charges: one of um, one of having taken a watch, two phones, and a safe from the cycle legend Cavendish, and the other of stealing a watch. Uh, phone and a suitcase from a former British glamour model, Peter. In February, two other men were jailed in Chelmsford Crown Court for their role in the robbery, which took place in Ongar and Essex. Jobson was the third man wanted by police, and he was and he handed himself in at the Chelmsford Police Station in June of this year. It, it came 18 months after police first issued a photo appealing identifying him as a suspect. The 27-year-old of no fixed address denied two counts of robbery and was found guilty uh, following a trial. Jurors returned their verdict on Monday after, under two days, Monday after two days of deliberation. I don't know if that's like extra word. Right Kevin Shue hails from the Isles of Man, is an all-time joint record holder of the Tour de France stage winner, 38-year-old 30, who broke his collarbone on the eighth stage of this year's tour, is aiming to pass the 34 34 aiming to pass 34 also won by belgium icon eddie mark stone at 2024 event so yeah so he's he's he said he's going to retire after this year so for you cycling fans he's not retiring and he's going to be going for the racket once again he announced earlier this month that he was delaying his retirement in such in search of the holding the outright tour record having signed a new one-year contract with his team astana uh, kazakhstan I love riding my bike, Kevin Dishvald, and I, I spoke to the kids and they said, carry on, the great man, Kevin Dish. He added in a video posted on the team's uh, social media channels. So here we are, just one more year. Obviously, it wasn't uh, the finish I hoped for, Christian at the Tour de France, but it's worth. it was worth it. Uh, we grew incredibly as a team at Astana. It felt like a real family, so much so the first thing, you know, Astana General Manager, Astana, Astana general manager Alexander Vinkorov uh, said, when I crashed was, why don't you do another year? I said, no, no, it was not just, I was just coming back from Calabon, but coming back from another injury. I was ready to retire. I was at peace. But the more I've ridden this summer, 
Uh, I just love riding my bike. His best Olympic result came by winning a silver medal in the Omnium at the Rio 2016 and in 2011 having won the UCR World Cycling Championships. Uh, he was named BBC Sports Personality of the Year. So just a little bit more about Cav. I'm just really, really, really like looking forward to uh, Cav continuing and going for that racket. But the funny thing is you got people like Pogaccia. Uh, he just does everything and... I think he, he won't do it anytime soon, but I think he could get quite a few wins. <laughs> and he's going to come close to, to his racket that Cavendish is going to set, as well as uh, Eddie Merckx. But that's Cavendish. He's with Astana. And the 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 cool thing or the key thing about uh, Cav being at Astana is that... um Come back. Where are you? My screen? Uh, can't find my screen back. There we are. I'm back. So the, the cool thing about uh, Astana is that like all the teams this year are searching for someone to like, you know, put them in that place so that they can, um, uh, you know, get the publicity they need, you know, fulfill the the desires of the uh, sponsors and stuff, fill the obligations for the sponsors. And and Cav is, is that guy. So he's going to go to the Tour de France. He's going to do a bunch of other classics. He's going to do well, and he keeps the, the, the name and the brand out there. So, you know, for him doing another year, it's good business for Astana. And, uh, you know, you got, like, other riders going to other big teams, so I'm not going to mention anybody else because this is cab story. So you got other riders going to other good teams, and, and, and it's it's all it's all business right now. So uh, kudos to uh, Cab. So, you know, obviously they're going to look after him and take care of him. And um, yeah, he loves to ride his bike. And what what better way to to make a living or do what you love? Uh, you know how you how you do it. So uh, that's Mark Cavendish. So the guy who, or one of the guys in the uh, altercations, uh, you know, unfortunate robbing of his home and his his uh, wife of his things and stuff two years ago, they've been sentenced. They're going to jail. So it's all done. All you know. Anyway, I'm <laughs> probably never more words. So that's the, that was the story. You heard the story. And I'm out. Initially, we say with your legs media. Remember, on your way out, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. And um, stay tuned for the next story. Stay tuned. We got, we got more coming. There we go. Come on. Come on. It's coming. Like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.